All right, so here we have the Cubic Astro, oh, somebody in there, the Cubic Astro Model 150 Alpha. Uh, this is an early solid state transceiver. Uh, bands are terrible today, sadly, but uh, there was somebody in here. In any case, uh, this is quite the transceiver. Really interesting design, the way they did things back then. It's not very large. Um, you know, here's my hand on the radio. So, as you can see, it's a nice portable unit. Um, uh, 12 volt uh, DC. Uh, very basic controls. You have your uh, uh, AF gain, IF gain here, mic gain control, fine tuning. Uh, here's your mic connector over here. And this is your VFO tuning knobs. Very interesting. So, you don't just turn and turn and turn. The way it works is you, if you want to go up the frequency, you turn it to the right. I'll do that. And you can see it'll just scan basically <laughs> the further you turn it to the right in fact i'll give you I'll, I'll go ahead and crank it on over and it'll really go if you want and and you can just go at any speed you want so if you want to go back down you know slower oops oh, the wrong way sorry there we go that's the down <laughs> and as i hold this here you'll see oh, come on let's get it a little bit faster there you can see it counting down oops hurts me we used to be on 20. In any, any case, that's how it works. It's really slick. Um, the Cubic Astro 102 and the 103, which are the larger base units of this rig, uh, are uh, also really neat. They're the same way, but they have two, two different uh, dials, I believe, for the two different VFOs. But quite the slick... Uh, where that guy is... Sorry, I was hoping you could get a nice signal in here. Let's try it. Ah. Takes a little bit of getting used to to <laughs> use that VFO, but it's uh, it's neat. Anyway, it does receive nicely. It oh, there's a guy. So it does receive nice nicely. It uh, it um, has low output though. It only puts out about four watts. So Probably the output transistors aren't working correctly. And I do not have the proper mic uh, plug for this. It looks like it's a, a six pin, I believe. There we go. There's a signal. <laughs> and then uh, to do the band change, here's your mode select. Sorry about that. Here's your mode select. And um, up, obviously we're in upper side band on 20 meters here. Uh, CW, CW narrow. And here's your uh, keyer for semi break in. It has a noise blanker. I don't know if that works or not. And here's your Vox push to talk. And here's your on off uh, switch. And then your band select. So. You can see we have it on uh, 20 meters. If you want to go to 40, you just go there. And then again, they just down into the uh, ham band. There we go. And that's how that works. Of course, you want to be in lower sideband. And so uh, one of the digits, as you can see this one here, the bottom uh, segment is uh, having an issue. Uh, but... Um, other than that, the rest of the digits seem pretty good. That's all I have for today. The Cubic Astro Model 150 Alpha 10 through uh, 80 meter HF transceiver.